Hi guys, I'm Elena from We Learn to Share. In this video, we're going to cover the AP Statistics 2021 FRQ question number 6. Now let's read the question. Attendance at games for a certain baseball team is being investigated by the team owner. The following box plot summarizes the attendance, the measured as average numbers of attendees per game for 47 years of the team's existence. The box plots include the 30 years of games played in the old stadium and the 17 years played in the new stadium. Question A. Compare the distributions of average attendance between the old and new stadiums. If you're asked to like the, compare the distributions or analyze a graph like this for distributions, there are something like must included things that you need, some things that you must include in your answers. Like for example, um, if you compare the center of the graph, you can see that um, for the median, the center for the new stadium is higher than that of the old stadium having like about 25 and this would be 16 so it would be like absolutely more higher like having a 25 as its median and also you can compare like the shape and for that you would say that the shape of distribution shape of distribution of the average attendance for the old stadium uh, seems to be more like symmetric compared to the um, left skewness of the new stadium and when i mean that it mean by like um being skewed to the left it means that it is more towards over here like yeah you can see that this over here would be the left and this would be the right so it will look like this when you actually draw it and um just for the sake of space let's erase this and you can also compare like the spread and you can compare this by like the IQR or the range right or the range let's write it again well the IQR for the old one would be that would be like this right here right uh, that's too big this over here so this would be like about four i think for the old it would be four and for the new it would be something like um over here to here which would be like about um similar like about also four so there they have similar iqrs but for the range you can see that the difference between here and which is could be about like eight compared to that the new stadium has like 27 to 16 so about like 11 so the new is higher or like actually larger i would say for a spread and uh, for both grabs you can uh possible outliers on the scene so you can say that and there are no outliers in both graphs and moreover you can say that um, the distribution for the old stadium over here has a smaller center like we've just identi we, we've identified in the first part and it has like the less variability compared to the new stadium 
Okay, let's move on. The next question. Compare the trends in average attendance over time between the old and the new stadium. Right, but in both graphs you can see that like for the old stadium, the general trend is like is like this. And for a new, it is like this, right? But you can see that there is still a certain kind of like relationship between those two for either graphs. So for either stadium, so you would say that um Wait, let's just, let's say that for the old stadium, it has like a very weak, but still there is, right? There, but there's a, there still is relationship between those two and that would be like relationship. And it would be a positive relationship, but it's really close to no relationship. And it has like a higher variability than the new stadium because you can see that the ears are much longer than the ears of the new stadium and also you can see that there is like a slower increase or like almost no change like in attendance over here like in the average attendance over ears but compared to that, we can clearly see that for the new stadium, there is a very um, a clear and strong positive linear relationship between those two. Mm -hmm. Like the linear relationship between, let's say, the ear and attendance. Mm -hmm. And that would be the answer for question B. And for C, we have another comp the describing, <laughs> analyzing graph question. Um, consider the following scatter plots. Graph one shows the average attendance versus numbers of games won for each year. Describe the relationship between the variables. So for this, again, I would say that there is a strong linear positive relationship between the numbers of games won and the average attendance over years and for question number two, graph two shows the same information as graph one, but also indicates the old and new stadiums. Does graph two suggest that the rate at which attendance changes as numbers of games won increases is different in the new stadium compared to the old stadium? Explain your reasoning. So you can see that the trend would be like this for the old, for the um, old and like this for the new. And you would say the answer for this question would be a no, mainly, because like um, you can see that the slope of the LSRL or the best line of fit is like nearly similar for for the um, for the old stadium and the new stadium. So you would say that the slope of the best line of fit or the LSRL or the number of games won and the average attendance for the old and both new like both old and new stadiums is um, nearly similar or like virtually the same the same which means that like the rate at which the attendance changes, the average attendance changes as the numbers of games won increases is about the same. Last question, consider the three variables, number of games won, year, and stadium. Based on the graphs, explain how one of those variables could be a confounding variable in the relationship between average attendance and the other variables. 
So for that, let's review what we have just like answered. So in part A, we noticed that like the higher attendance could be associated with the new stadium, like which means that um, the new stadium could be a factor that causes the attendance to increase. And in part B, we noticed that like there is a positive correlation between year and the attendance, average attendance, suggesting that it could be a possible it could be possible for that the the time pass or the year can cause an attendance uh, to increase and in part c we could also see that there is a positive correlation between the numbers of games won and the average attendance rate right suggesting that it was possible that the numbers of win games won actually um caused or like actually it contributed as a factor to the attendance to increase as like people maybe like like to watch games that they um that that a team to win so having that all said we'll summarize it over here that the number of games um um one can be a potential confounding variable in the relationship between average attendance and other variables like the stadium and your ear. Oh, and I think it's better to like just write down what I what we have just like summarized looking at all of this ABC over like over here and it's you can say that the um, it's possible that the team winning more games actually cause the attendance to increase like um, right so more win games more won games probably cost the attendance rate attendance to increase but at the same time the games won could have been confounded or like associated with the the quality with the quality or let's just say stadium over here because it's just like that stadium because like can right over here that like athletes prefer to like prefer or they perform better with newer facilities like newer stadiums and ear because the team like got better and like got more skillful over the years um yeah also we can say that the ear and the stadium are to be associated as like the new stadium can be only be paired with more recent years right new stadium be paired with a recent with, with the recent years so we will say that the number of wins number numbers of games won for a team could be creating like a false perception of overall like a false would be would would be a contributing factor to the confounding variable in the relationship between average attendance and the other variables uh like the year or the stadium and yeah that would be the end of uh the answer to question six and thanks for watching and see you in the next video